they go. Maybe I just need to start doing that. Brother Wade, when we gonna hear that baritone voice of yours in a song? <laughs> you, you gonna run me out of there? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I bet you can sing. <laughs> uh, I I only really well, of course, I, I sing to the Lord, but uh, but uh, uh I sing to my honey until she uh wants me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like I don't gotta put up with this. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, And the title is, We Are God's Handiwork. Yes, we are. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and that is coming from uh, Scripture Legends, uh, as you can read Revelations uh, 2, 1 through 7, Acts 19, Ephesians 2, Book of Scripture, Ephesians 2, 1 through 10, Ephesians 2, verses 1 through 10. Key verse. For we are what he has made us, he has made us. created in Jesus created Christ. In Christ, Christ Jesus. Or oh, Christ Jesus, I'm sorry, created in Christ Jesus for good works, good works. which God prepared, God prepared beforehand, beforehand to be our, to way, of be life. our way of life. Ephesians 2, chapter, chapter 2, verses 10, and that even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. And, and, and raised, raised us, us up with, with him, him and seated and us seated with, us him with him in the heavenly places, places in Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. So that in the ages to come, he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace and kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace, For by grace you, you have, have been, been, saved. been saved through faith. faith. And, and this is not your own, own doing. It is the gift of God. Gift of God. Thank you, Jesus. Not the result. So works so that no one may boast. Ten altogether. dear lord and dear lord and just be there ever uh ever uh companion dear lord to be there dear lord to comfort them dear lord to be there dear lord just to wrap your arms around them dear lord we thank you we thank you dear lord for uh for the sunday school lesson and sunday school teach
nature where we can learn, dear Lord, more excellently about your word. Yes, Lord, bless those under the sound of my voice, dear Lord. praying for your church, dear Lord, and we're praying for those 5,000 new tithing members, dear Lord. Dear mm -hmm. Lord, we're going to continue to keep asking, dear Lord, and continue to believe, dear Lord, and continue to keep working, dear Lord, and we know whatever you send us, dear Lord, you don't make no junk, dear Lord, so whatever you send us, dear Lord, will be good, dear Lord, as you are. So thank you, dear Lord, for what you have done. Thank you for what you are doing, and thank you for what you will do. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We are God today, but we know he got some other handiwork. So after he finished his work, God looked at it on day one, two, three, four, five, six, and said, what? It is good. This is good. <laughs> okay. So I think, I think. The handiwork as a creation is good. Now, not to say that it's always acting good, but if God created it, it is good. <laughs> okay, so our key verse reiterates that by saying, um, uh, we all says the dead in Christ shall rise on Jesus's return. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> that's a hope for us too. So uh, we talked a little about um, spiritual blessings in heavenly places or some things that are offered to those who believe the forgiveness of our sins that we would know God's will. I think Brother Wade went through a lot about studying to show ourselves approved so that we may rightly be able to divide or explain the word of God. And we know that we are sealed by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit dwells in us. So when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So our lesson uh, today goes on and follow uh, chapter one, and it starts out by talking about life without Jesus Christ. So let's see what verses one uh, through three describe as life without Jesus Christ. Can I get someone to read that, please? Can anybody see that on the screen? If not, feel free to read from your Sunday school book. I'll read. Not only physical, As the spirit, as the spirit separated from the body,
that there may be meat in mine house. And you've heard people rationalize, well, I can't give the 10 because I got this and I got that. And so some people think they're being obedient to God if they go peace away. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about? <laughs> They don't want to do the full word of God, just what's convenient for them. My, uh, uh, uh. Then be obedient to God's word. Now that's not to say that we won't fall sometimes, but thank God we are able to get back up when we do fall. So yeah, disobedient. Okay, what's the next one? When I when I looked at it, Sister Smith, I, I looked at uh, uh, chaos, out of control. Uh, mm -hmm. if, if we are operating on feelings, and we know the devil, uh, uh, and I, I spoke about this. Before. We, we should not conform to the world because then I'm following the world and I'm following what Satan suggests. <laughs> I'm in compliance with the temptations that, that have struck me. So we want to keep that in mind that unsaved, if you're unsaved, you're dead spirit. Be doing. And the Christian over here who's consecrated and set apart, they're over here now. So it's the reverse of one of these kids are doing their own thing, but they're doing their own thing uh, to the work of God, the good works. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah. And uh, have any of you all heard people complain? I know what's wrong uh, with with the television, why there's so much trash on it in prime time. You know, they used to have a little respect and some of the stuff they would put on till like It says in verse three, all of us once lived among them in passion, in the passion of our flesh, following the desires of the flesh and senses. I think Charlie has alluded to that earlier. And we were by nature children of wrath like everyone else. Okay, there is a little concept that talks about the three devices to trap Christians. And you can sort of fit everything in it. First uh, John 2 and 16 says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the father but is of the world and he oh cast your eyes on this one right here and and it says the lust of the eyes we can feel the desire we can see it and then we'll want it <laughs> you know that's the pride of life um, I read somebody's opinion once that a lot of times people, they, they overspend 
they 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 buy a house they can't really afford they buy a car they can't really afford they go on vacations they can't really afford and they do it to impress others so that's sort of the pride of life those are the kind of things that get us into trouble so after eve had a lust of the flesh because she saw that tree was good but she knew she had been told she couldn't have anything off of it but her flesh wanted it and, and she looked at it and then um she said oh you know this this don't make me wise she didn't know she wasn't saying that at the time but that's the devil in his work you know because the tree desired to make one wise Alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. And he raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. So that in the ages to come, he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace and kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. All right. Hey. Okay, so one day. problem with sin he said he said but god i love that you know i was doomed in these other uh verses but because of god i got a solution to my my problem of sin so what did the uh brother unsaved state but God who is rich in mercies he's not going to give me what I deserve which is judgment and because of his great love he's gonna make me alive I'm no longer gonna be dead to my sins and trespasses he's made me alive together with Christ and I'm raised up with Christ mm -hmm. You know, in the Baptist church, uh, I've heard some of my friends say they believe in immersion because when you go down in the water, it rep it represents your burial. You did. Yeah. And when you're raised up out of that water, salvation to all we got to receive it by faith so uh, what is faith faith is taking God at his word you believe God God I believe what you said I believe that if God says that he has provided spiritual life and cleansing in Christ 
That's what it is. I believe it. And then the Bible tells us without faith, way but the world's way and we follow the ruler of the power of the air another name for satan you know we, we obey the spirit who works in the sons of disobedience the devil and his imps so charles get ready here come your question who was the spirit who had led the ephesians into sin a, the ruler of the kingdom of the air. B, the spirit who works in the sons of disobedience. C, the spirit of the goddess Dinah. A. Okay, you say, uh, Charlie, say A. Anybody else? That is part of it. B. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we know it's not the spirit of Dinah, huh? <laughs> it's a, a and R B. If you say A, you correct. You say B, you correct. But it could be either R because uh, there are different names for Satan. <laughs> Sister Smith, did yes, you sir. say, if you say C, repeat class? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> but I see you got it. Okay, Twyla. What is it, Thomas? Okay. I couldn't remember who I said. So Twyla or Thomas, tell me what are the characteristics of God uh, used to be the solution to man's problem with sin? And we talked about some characteristics. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go with you. Uh, yeah. So, but here's what I want to make sure we get out of this. Uh, Sister Smith, your first question today is what is handiwork and wonderful definition. One of the things that I do like to do every once in a while, and you hear me do it is go and see what the Greek or the Hebrew words are, yeah. because those languages are so much more descriptive. Like when we talk about love, you know, we love hot dogs, we love football, you know, we love blue and we use the same word. They wouldn't do that in the Greek, they would use a different word to, to describe what they're talking about. And this word for um, need us to give up what we were yep i got people talking to me all the time well you know i'm i'm just this i was like wait didn't you get saved oh yeah i was saved back in 2002 okay well if you were saved then then that means you saved now and stop telling me what you were 
and start telling me what you are. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's live as masterpieces of God. All right. Anybody else? Questions, comments? Um, thank you, Sister Smith. Um, thank you to uh, Sister Lampkins and everybody for your involvement. Uh, before we close here, I want to say here in Sunday school because she's with us in Sunday school, but um, and we'll we'll make a bigger announcement later in church as well. But I want to shout out to Becca. Um, Becca is uh, getting ready to graduate, and uh, she is uh, getting ready to sign a letter of intent to play lacrosse at Huntington College uh, in Alabama. And uh, so not only.